I must apologise if I sound a bit huffy and puffy in the video. I've got a touch of the flu. Well, it is the season for it. The winter season of chemtrail flu. Everybody seems to be getting ill. And because you feel that bad, you'll go to the doctors and the doctor will give you a flu shot. Don't do it. If you don't believe me, look at the side effects that you may get. Look it up for yourself. Anywho, and a very warm welcome if you've just joined me on my channel, Nigel, if you're on things, how you doing, how you keeping, I hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. I've got a couple of interesting videos to show you. We've got the Chaos Planet, the Red Spinning Planet. And it's going to be chaos when it's seen in the skies, or one of its friends makes an appearance. And talking about its friends, it makes an appearance on two consecutive days. Any rate, let's get down to business. The cameras we're going to use is airportview.net, links in the description box down below, so it's simple for everybody to find. Date on the video, 3rd of January 2018. Camera name, KPSO. When you look down the list, just look for PSO. Alamosa East. And as you can see, scalar clouds coming through the sky, chemtrails, they're not trying to hide anything at all. Just here you can see the sun, sun simulator coming through the sky. Here we've got a lens flare and it arcs around this direction as the sun arcs in this direction. And it does that because we've got a convex lens on the camera. So it arcs around. One of the reasons. We can see a projected image of a lensing system that they're using in place and just here you can see there is the focal point and you can see it go straight away back and we're going to see the lensing system they're using that's in play just there and this is very very important to what we're going to see and also we're going to deal with this a little bit later on through the video and we're going to see it a little bit more clearly flash of light yet again and we get this object, the backwards lit planet. I've caught this many, many different times. And this is being projected through the lensing system up here. And there is more than one lens system that's in play. And as you can see, it just disappears. It is not a lens flare, it's a projected image. And down here, you will see a flash of light. And that just disappears as the sun goes out of view. Date on the video, 2nd of January 2018. Camera is KPSO, ramp southeast. Airportview.net we're still looking at. Let's have a look at the video and we're gonna look at this object just here, the red spinning planet. This is a projected image. You can see the lensing system and I've shown this many, many times, this graying around here and this line down here. And you'll see it go round in the opposite direction just like a lens flare does. If this was a lens flare, our sun is this direction it should be going this direction like this lens will be. And also what you've got to know is this follows the sun. It doesn't arc, it follows the sun. You can see the patterning on what we're looking at. This makes no sense at all, this can't be our sun, it's spinning too fast. It's a planet, a projected image of a planet and you can see the lensing system just there, plain as day. You can clearly see the planet spinning. And you can see the lens just rotating just like a lens flare would. We get to see something quite interesting just here. Our sun simulator being projected onto the chrome. But of course this is a camera abnormality. This is impossible if that was so. Case closed. We've got our red spinning object just here. Why is it red? Mm, not really too sure. Why is it see-through? Not really too sure. Are they using a laser system to hide the planet? Red is a very good colour to hide things with. Especially infrared light. Maybe we wouldn't get to see it. But you would need a very, very powerful laser to hide this. Now, I would imagine they're using a satellite or some sort of technology to that degree and something hit the satellite and moved it around. The lasers went through the lensing system and caused fires all around the world just like they've been hit by direct energy weapons. Just by theory, I don't know if it's true, but it all seems to fit. Very, very strange. But who knows? Look just here. Oh, 
I'll just replay that for you. Right, if we look here, like I said, the pictures are every minute. We get this guy walk in, and it looks like he's just, what did he leave? His bags, his jacket, what is going on there? And then suddenly, he just disappears. Great mysteries of life. 3rd of January 2018, camera KFOD, camera 1 and east, we're looking at the sunrise. As you can see straight away, we've got a picture of a sun dog, east and west. This isn't a sun dog, this is part of the lensing system being projected into the sky. Well, onto the back of the chemtrails. The media tells us that this is ice crystals. This effect has not been around for the last, well, I don't remember it much before two years ago. But nobody questions anything. I mean, seeing something like this just suddenly appearing should make people question, and they didn't. The official story, ice crystals. This is a big lens in the sky. And you can see the sun simulator coming through the sky, red around the outside. You can see the lensing system just here. If we pause it just there, you can see there's two different colours of sky. Just there, just there. And of course that looks normal. That looks like our sun. Yes, of course it does. And you can clearly see the difference in the colours of sky. Just there and there. Is this being projected here? Or is this coming off here and being projected here? Not rightly too sure. You can see the chemtrails coming through the sky now. And then going in front of what uh, is being projected on. Camera 2 south. And yet again. I just find this truly, truly amazing. You can see the reflections of what's going on here, down here. I mean, these are not thick clouds at all, are they? They're chemtrails. So what we're seeing is the lens in front of the sun simulator being projected onto the back of the chemtrail haze in the background. Still looking at the same camera, we actually get to see a lens flare just travelling across the sky there, opposite the sun. Boom, well, that's the way it should be. You see our red projected image just there by the looks of things. The sun goes down, looking at a third camera southwest. We can clearly see the lensing system just here, and our sun does a runner into into nowhere, and the sun just disappears and does a runner, and day turns into night. So the January two thousand and eighteen camera KF. MM Fort Morgan South. First thing we've got to notice is this lens flare here. Now, if we've learnt anything about lens flares, as the sun comes this direction, this should arc around in this direction, a complete 180 degrees to what the sun does. But something strange happens with this lens, and we know we've got a lensing system in front of the sun simulator that I've just shown you. Where does this lens go? It doesn't even arc round, it goes backwards into infinity. That proves to me there's a lensing system up here. That's just impossible. And, uh, yeah, they're trying to control something out. What's in the background here? The camera and everything just lines up and we get some amazing pictures. And, yeah. It looks like there's interaction. A blue line running around the outside there, and this is starting to brighten up. It was very, very dark a minute ago, and it looks like you can see, well, I don't know, maybe interaction of the lensing system just here. Let's have a look at the same clip, stick a filter on it, and the filter I'm going to use is called Lord Kelvin. It brings out some outstanding results. You can see the big red hue around the outside, and this really just brings it out a little bit more. It also shows how the sun simulator works and we get to see that. That's that big red hue I was talking about. There's our object in the background and you can see that our sun simulator just looks like a great big torch. Very, very dark around the outsides. 
but it's there to do a purpose and its purpose is to take the shadows away we wouldn't actually get to notice this too much it would get a little bit dimmer and a little bit darker but our eyes would become accustomed very very quickly lens flare does what it shouldn't do it goes backwards into infinity and if I stop it just there we got a projected image of our red spinning lens flare is it this direction because that seems very very red this seems very very red and this seems very very red we've got a big object in the background there and what's happening to our seas at this particular moment in time they're receding fast out to sea like never seen before and it's not our moon doing it there is an object in the sky makes you wonder doesn't it hey just put two and two together and be logical And you can see all of a sudden there's interaction going on between these two and it starts getting brighter and brighter. We've still got this red lens flare down here and that sort of like acts like a lens flare-ish. You can see this separation between these two objects here. This side being the sun simulator, this side being a planet. But it can't be a planet, there's nothing in the skies, Nige. I'll tell you what it is, somebody threw a tennis ball at the lens of the camera and you know when it's all soggy it leaves that mark so when the sun comes past you get what looks like a planet that's what we're looking at silly me if you notice how bright it's starting to get you can see that our sun's come past our object and it's starting to brighten up so that's what I have the sun simulator it takes the shadows away you can clearly see in the background it's starting to get lighter and lighter last part of the video we're going to go full circle and we're going to finish with the first camera we actually looked at but the date on this is the 2nd of January and the date on the first one was the 3rd of January KPSO Alamosa East let's have a look at the video we get to see our sun sun simulator come through the sky we've got our lens flares just here very very interesting you can see in the background here we're getting a projection of the lensing system this direction and we'll soon get that donut effect ring just here we've got our backwards lit planet slowly lighting itself up and we get two dots here and here and you're gradually getting to see that ring appear that's what i call it now it's got a hole in the middle and that is the lensing system from this direction we get to see our backwards lit planet and there you go friends special friends this just disappears this direction we get the flash just down there and this sort of like just blinks out if we look at the same clip stick a filter on it and the filter I'm going to use is invert let's have a look you can see that the Sun and the Sun simulator comes through the sky it's flashing we've got our lens flares over here we got our backwards projected planet just here and we have our red spinning object just here both projected images and there you go and you can clearly see it spinning and just disappears I really can't understand how people can say there's nothing in our skies it's there for us to see if we're paying attention many things are happening in the world how can you tell me that things are right everything is just wrong I was just putting the finishing touches to this video and I got a notification from Thor News. He's just brought out a video. Strange Blue Comet in our solar system has asteroid planetary body friends. I'll leave the links in the description box down below so it's nice and simple for everybody to find. I highly recommend that you go and watch the video and he does it in Thor News style. Please subscribe and say hello. Have a look. One, two, three four five six and seven is this the blue kachina in rate that's all i've got for you now much love much peace and i'll catch you next time are you paying attention